All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, whichever. Got a really good one for you today. I think I'm about to show you the best free editing software for 2021, so you definitely don't want to miss this one. In order to show you how the software works, you might have noticed that I've bought myself some new friends. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to film them settling into their new home. Now, if you do want to find out a bit more about this tripod, it's awesome, it does that overlooking thing. Also go super tall and have a look at this review here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of 4K footage we can work with now. I'm going to show you how to get and use this free editing software from Videoproc. So I've been playing around with it and now I'm going to show you why I think it's pretty special actually in terms of free editing software. Okay, so I said to Videoproc, why do you think that my audience would be interested in this particular editing software? What they said to me was, it's really cool for vlogging, action cam footage, all that sort of thing. So I said, well, that's great. Let's give it a go. And that's what I did. I liked it, so I'm going to show you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the software. Now just follow the link in the description below and it'll take you to this page here. Now I was a bit concerned when I got this fish tank that the filter might be a little bit loud. And then I remembered that I happen to have a PC with one of the loudest fans in the world, so. <laughs> Needn't have worried about that. So yeah, you're just gonna go to the link in the description and it will bring you to this page and you're just gonna hit free download and download the software. Then you'll install it on your Mac or PC. It will go through some sign up details. It'll ask you for your email address and then it will send you a license code. You don't have to pay for it, free of charge, send you a license code. And then you just put that license in when you launch the software. I've already launched it. Here it is. This is what you'll see when you open up the Videoproc Vlogger editing suite, okay? Here it is. It looks very much like any other editing software. You've got your media library here. You've got your preview screen here. You've got your timeline here. So it's really nicely laid out, nice and simple. So the first thing you'll do is start a new project. And to do that, it's really easy. Just go to File, New Project. And then you can choose where you want to save your project, resolution of the project, all the way up to 4K resolution. So there's loads of different options here. So let's choose the 4K option. Frame rates, 30, 60 or 120. I'd like to have seen 24 here. I'm not quite sure why there isn't a 24 option. As this is designed more for vlogging, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. You're not gonna notice too much difference, I don't think so. I'd like to see 24. Maybe they will add that in the future, but at the moment, 30, 60, 120. Okay, so let's keep it at 30 and hit new project. Okay, so now we've started a new project. Now on the left hand side here, this is where we're going to add our media. So I'm going to click plus, this big plus icon. I'm going to go and find the media that I want to use. So here's all my B-roll footage that I just shot of my fish tank. I'm going to import all of that. Okay, so there are all my files imported. Done it really quickly, 4K files, straight in, no problems there. Uh, let's add some music and find a song I want to use add that so now we've got the music and we've got our video bang nice and easy in the media section of the editing software now next to the media library we've got the transitions titles and effects i'll show you how to use those in a minute but they're all drag and drop nice and easy to use so let's go back to our media library and let's click on all our footage and just drag that onto our timeline okay so just, just drag and drop bang bosh all the footage is there on the timeline. So if you want to zoom in on the timeline, you just click and hold, okay? And you can zoom in or out of the timeline. So that's nice and easy, I like that, really intuitive. It's probably a hot key for it as well, but that's how you do it with your mouse. Okay, so now we've got all our clips on the timeline. And then let's just drag our music underneath and it will drag it onto this audio track underneath. As you can see, the timeline is split up into different sections. So you've got your video track, your overlay track. So if you want to overlay a video on a video, you've got the track that underneath. You've got your effect track, where all your effects go. Your audio track, where your audio goes. And your subtitle track, where your subtitles go underneath that. Okay, so it's all split out into really nice, easy to see, easy to navigate timeline. Then above your footage, you've got 
all these different tools. You've got your split tool, you've got your ripple edit, your speed, your crop, motion, color, detach, record, test. I'm gonna go into all of these in a bit, but let's just say we don't want this clip because we don't, we just click on that clip, it will highlight the whole clip, and you're just gonna to go to delete and delete the clip. So now we've got our five clips on the timeline and we've got our music underneath. We don't want this end bit of audio, so all we're gonna do is click on our little scissors tool, which will separate the clip. And then we just click on this and delete that part of the audio clip. Okay, so now the audio clip fits our timeline. We're gonna click on audio. We're gonna highlight this end section and we're just gonna put in a little fade out. Okay, and then that will fade that clip out. And you can move that if you want it to make it bigger, make the fade out last longer. You can do loads of other little things. You can change the volume. You can add a little bit of EQ. So you can do little bits and pieces to the audio. Okay, so we're gonna save that. So now we've got a little bit of a roll out on the audio at the end of the clip. And with the video, you can do the same thing. Let's say we don't want this part of the clip. We can just drag it and then it will make the clip length smaller. Now we could do the same with this clip or you could just use the split function and just get rid of that section of the clip. I'm not gonna go too much into the actual editing on this video because it's just me feeding some fish. I'm just showing you how the software works. Okay, so this is where this editing software gets really cool. With action cam footage, vlogs, that sort of thing, you're gonna be wanting to use speed ramps a lot of the time just to make your footage look more engaging. Speed ramps look cool. Super easy to do on this software. So if we just select this first clip, if we then click on speed, then you can see you've got all these speed ramp presets already built into the software. Okay, so let's just use, I don't know, ease in and out. Okay, so you just click on ease in and out and then you've got all these different parameters that you can change. Okay, so you can change this. You can move where the ramps happen. So you can customize it all yourself after you've selected these, then you can apply it to your clip. And as you can see, there's a speed up there and a slow down at the end. Okay, so it's not perfect, but you know, I haven't really played around with it enough. Then you can custom, you can do your own. So let's say you wanna speed it up and then slow it down. Speed it right up at the start. Slow it right down at the end. Apply, play that now. So it'd be quick at the start and then slow at the end, okay? It's a really cool way of doing speed ramps with this software. I love that. I think that's easier than a lot of the paid software around, so big thumbs up from me on that function for sure. So say you want to add some transitions to your project, it's really simple. You go to your transitions tab and you've got all these different transitions, there's loads of them. And you'd literally just drag and drop it and it'll stick it on the transition. That, and then you can just delete it. Let's try something else. 4K video, remember, and there's no issues with the playback. Drag and drop these transitions in between your clips. Again, as easy as paid software in terms of these transitions. Now, I've only used this a couple of times, but it's just so easy to use. Now on this right hand side, you've got all your color correction and all that sort of thing. Then this is where you can mess with the scale of the video. So you can zoom in and out, do all that sort of thing. Uh, change the position in rotation, blah, blah, blah. And uh, change the opacity. And this is where you can just play around with the, the colors and do your, your color correction, your contrast, your saturation. And you've got some advanced settings. So if you click on this color and filter editor, advanced settings, you can play around with the whites and the blacks. Now, what's really cool about this is you can add your own LUTs, LUTs that come with the software that you can use. Okay, so you can have a go at the LUTs that come with the actual software itself. So there's some cool little LUTs here, some cinematic LUTs. Or you can add your own LUT, which is really cool. So I can go and find my drone LUT, shameless plug, and I can stick those on this video. Let's choose my emerald LUT, which would be quite nice for this fish tank. Okay, and now if we go to the bottom, you can see there's my emerald LUT, which brings out the blues and the greens, added to my fish tank footage, okay? And then what you can do is you can go into the color, 
because now it's a bit overexposed. You can bring the exposure down, up the contrast, saturation, highlights, shadows, all that good stuff you can do here. And then you can change the intensity of the LUT as well, which is cool. So you can have as much or as little as a LUT as you want, which is good because LUTs you don't want to just chuck on and leave. So you've got all those options here. So anything you'd want with a paid software color correction, you have here. Now I haven't played around with the color enough on this to see if it's of a really professional quality, but just looking at it first glance, the parameters that you've got to play with, you've got a bit of a color scope here. So once you've played around with it, you get your colors pretty tickety-boo using this color correction suite in this software. So another thumbs up, innit? Now, not only that, let's say we want to add some sort of funky effect to our footage. Then we can go to our effects tab at the top. Uh, let's go for color glitch. Okay, so we drag that on. What you'll see is you, it doesn't drag it onto the actual video, it drags it onto the effects layer underneath. And then you can apply to it to the whole of the clip or the whole of the project or whatever you want, really. So then you just play it. And now it's got that color glitch over the top, which you probably wouldn't really want, but nevertheless. And if you want to drag it across the other clip as well, then you just click and drag. Let's try something else. Um, this old TV. So let's just pull that down onto our footage. Now we have our goldfish bowl cube looking like an old TV sort of footage. You can add some snow if you want. If you want fish in the snow, you can do it. You can also add some titles. So let's just do an, a, a the end bit. Stick it at the end. You can change the font and all sorts of stuff you can do with the text. You can change the position, how it comes in. Anything that you can do with a paid editor you seem to be able to do with this. So when you're all done, you're just gonna hit the export button and then it will give you your export options. H.264 codec, you can export it high quality up to five. You can change your bit rate so it's variable constant. You want to make sure that enable hardware acceleration for encoder is on. The audio, you can export in 48 hertz, so high quality audio. Call it test and then click Start, Bosch. So that from the start to the finish of this project, it's just been really simple to do. And I have really enjoyed the way that this editing software works, especially with the speed ramps, the way that you just drag and drop, drop the effects on, and the, the way that you can use your own LUTs. Pro features, free software. You're gonna find this hard to beat. So now it's saying it's exported. Let's just click on the video. And there we go. There's our video. No watermark, free of charge, Bosch. <laughs> I don't know, man. Now I've used a fair few free editing software suites in my time. They're a bit hit and miss. Most of them have got something missing that high-end editing suites have. This one, I can't really fault. The only thing that I would change at this stage is the having the option to have 24 frames per second timeline. Apart from that, everything I need to do in Premiere Pro, I can do in this. And this is free, and Premiere Pro isn't. So if you're new to editing, or you're just bored with your editing suite and want to try something different, give this a go. Free of charge, follow the link below. What have you got to lose? It's really easy to learn. There's some great tutorials. With the software, you just click on this little bell icon, and it will give you all these little tutorials so yeah i highly recommend it that's all i can say really i hope you've enjoyed this one if you found it useful please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below uh give me some names for my fish uh, there's 12 of them in there so i need 12 names and if you're not ready please do consider subscribing to this channel all things filmmaking just trying to help you guys out grow a bit of a community have some fun learn off each other yeah so subscribe i think you'll enjoy it thanks to video proc for introducing me to the vlogger editing suite. Now go and download yourself a version. That's it for this one. Catch you in the next one.